Hello there again, moving forward with our uh, <clears throat> Binary Options Academy projects here on fairbinaryoptions.com and under the Fibonacci Confluence area, areas, how to identify them and how to trade them, we illustrated on the first part how to reach these areas. It is a classical example on the Euro US dollar on the daily chart and then we, uh, we moved above uh, on, uh, on the bigger time frames. On the, on the weekly chart, trying to find out where uh, Fibonacci levels are, um, are coming approximately in the same area. And now, what we need to do is, or what should be done, is to project that kind of a distance or those levels beyond, below, and into, the, into that area. How to do that? First of all, you take a Fibonacci level and we measure the void between the two areas in here. And then we go and take a trend line at the 61.8 which is the golden ratio, the most important Fibonacci, Fibonacci ratio and then of course 38.2 basically it is the, the equivalent of 61.8 but the, but the other way around and then doing exactly the same thing projecting on the downside and projecting it to the upside and we'll take exactly the same two trend lines and we'll mark 38.2 and 61.8 as well as 38.2 here or 61.8 and 38.2 now of course that price being on the lower side or below the all important Fibonacci confluence areas that we identify we are not going to be interested on this ones to the upside unless or when price is moving there but at this very moment we are interested to trade, or we should be interested to trade where, pli where, uh, um, um, where price is now. And price now is to the downside. Now take a look in here. We obtained, let's, let's remember what we've done here. We obtained important confluence areas from the daily chart, measuring the move from here to here. So way, way before this price, price action followed. And then on the, on the weekly chart, measuring from the same low but from a higher value. And then we looked for the projection of that. All these levels to the upside represented nothing but resistance. We want to go and trade, put options on a move in here. And only after they are cleared, they should be related or they should be followed by call options trading. So this in here, let me put it in, in this color, this one in here, and this one in here, and this here as well as this spike, this here as well as this spike, they are only representing levels to go and trade put options because they are derived from important bigger time frames, Fibonacci confluence areas, and normally if we act to um, we act here smart enough and we adjust the expiration date, then it is virtually not possible to be on the wrong side of the market. Even if market moves against you, I mean it's a it's a binary option, so it will expire out of the money. Then we will calmly wait for market either to go into the next resistance level or into the next resistance level, and on a rejection, on a move to the downside. We should only be interested into buying call options at that very moment because previous support is supposed to act as uh, as resistance as well as resistance is support it is supposed to act as support. I hope you enjoyed this one. It is not an easy concept to uh, understand, but it's not that complicated. What's important is again to adapt the expiration date to the time frame that you're doing your analysis on. Our analysis here is being made on um, the daily chart, so we got to look for end of week expiration date when taking a trade or even end of month expiration date. Thank you for being here and have a great day. Bye bye.